Hello students, uh, in this session we will try to understand the small concept uh, block propagation. Uh, so uh, this is the first time uh, I am uh, uh, taking this uh, session uh, with a very few number of uh, slides as this concept is a small concept and this concept is not explained uh, in detail. Uh, whatever the books I am referring uh, uh, so uh, to make the session of this uh, small concept uh, I have to go on the internet and find different resources and then uh, I am trying to explain the concept of uh, block uh, propagation uh, in this session Uh, so this block before understanding the uh, block propagation uh, we have to understand the fundamentals of the blockchain uh, in blockchain uh, blocks are the pillars of the blockchain uh, which uh, this block stores a set of uh, information and uh, links to one another, one another to form a chain of uh, information so we know that uh, in blockchain the blocks are uh, linked to each other via hash values uh, block contains uh, transactions, a list of uh, transactions and the way Bitcoin works uh, every time a transaction is executed and it needs to be stored every time the transaction is executed it needs to be stored in a uh, block and uh, these transactions are uh, immutable once the transactions once the block is created uh, that block cannot be altered that block can, cannot be a change so we have studied this uh, concept uh, so many uh, times and in every 10 minutes uh, one such new block is created uh, by a process called mining uh, so mining uh, process will create a block uh, in every 10 minutes uh, we know that and in block there are several uh, transactions a block contain number of transactions transactions are gathered uh, transactions are bundled and from that transactions uh, the block is created and uh, uh, in mining process we know that uh, the nodes nodes will compete uh, to each other uh, for uh, proposing a block uh, in the uh, blockchain uh, so for proposing a block uh, the node has to solve the mathematical puzzle uh, that is nothing but the proof of work so after solving the mathematical uh, uh, puzzle the node uh, who will win uh, uh, who will solve this uh, mathematical puzzle uh, will propose a uh, block and then after pro proposing a block uh, that uh, node that node will uh, send this block uh, to the other nodes so as the new block is mined as the new block is created and as the new block is proposed by the node it is being propagated uh, this block is propagated to the entire bitcoin network and this process is called block uh, propagation uh, so how this uh, uh, block is propagated uh, to other nodes uh, that is nothing but the topic of this uh, session block uh, propagation uh, so this is very small uh, topic and if you see the uh, slides, uh, in every slides uh, uh, you will find the same title uh, that is block propagation. Uh, this small concept, uh, this small uh, topic I am trying to explain as this uh, topic is mentioned separately in the syllabus. Uh, question may be asked in examination, explain the uh, concept of block propagation uh, in uh, Bitcoin network. Uh, so uh, you can write a answer, a short note type of answer. Uh, to this uh, question of block uh, propagation. So in this regard, I am trying to explain uh, this small concept in this uh, 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 session. Uh, so Bitcoin uh, network is a peer-to-peer -peer network. This network is formed of uh, minor nodes. Uh, minor nodes are full nodes. Uh, minor nodes uh, perform uh, different uh, functions and miners nodes can verify the transactions uh, miners nodes uh, minor nodes can propose a block they can propose a block uh, they can uh, these nodes can validate the 
block so this uh, in this bitcoins uh, peer to peer network uh, this network is formed of uh, minor nodes and where the nodes randomly connect uh, with each other uh, so transactions and blocks are transmitted over the network by these nodes these nodes will uh, uh, transmit the transactions and blocks uh, over the bitcoin network and, and uh, this uh, process will continue continue until uh, each uh, node will uh, have the uh, uh, copy of transaction and uh, block so for a message to be diffuse uh, for a message to be broad, broadcasted uh, through the network uh, the transaction travel in hops so this is a very small concept uh, that you try to understand uh, as you may have, have learned uh, the fork uh, system call uh, fork uh, system call uh, how that fork system uh, call works uh, the same concept is used here uh, for block uh, propagation uh, so uh, when the block is uh, uh, created and when the node will uh, solve the puzzle when the node will solve the mathematical uh, puzzle uh, node will send these blocks uh, to the uh, two peer nodes uh, node will send the block to the two peer nodes and uh, the uh, nodes uh, that will who will receive that uh, block uh, they will further send to the uh, two uh, uh, neighboring nodes or peer nodes and this process will uh, continue uh, so you can read the last two sentences of uh, this uh, slide uh, in these sentences uh, this block propagation uh, concept is explained this is a very small concept uh, with each iteration in every iteration uh, with each iteration a set of two nodes uh, set of two nodes are sent the messages uh, two nodes will say uh, the miner the node who will propose the block uh, that will send the uh, block to the uh, two nodes and uh, this process will uh, grow uh, and uh, the uh, nodes uh, who will receive this block uh, they will send this uh, block to the other two nodes and this process will uh, continue and this uh, diffusion uh, process or broadcasting process or we can say flooding process uh, the diffusion increases exponentially as the hop increase as the number of iterations in increase as the number of iterations uh, increase and after 12 to 15 hops uh, or you can say after 12 to 15 iterations uh, the entire network will receive the uh, block entire network will receive the message so this is very small concept uh, how the block propagation uh, it uses the concept of fork system call uh, the, the minor node uh, who will uh, propose a block uh, that node will send the block to the two nodes uh, then the next two nodes will send to the uh, send the block to the other two nodes uh, so this process will continue and after 12 to 15 uh, hops uh, after 12 to 15 iterations uh, every node uh, every node in the uh, blockchain uh, will receive the block or you can say will receive the message uh, so uh, bitcoin uses uh, proof of work mining uh, to randomly select a node uh, so bitcoin make a bitcoin network will send, uh, select a uh, node or you can say node compete with uh, each other uh, to propose a block uh, to propose a valid uh, block so once the miner finds a valid block uh, the miner will broadcast that block uh, to the entire uh, network and block propagation block propagation in the network happens uh, the same way as uh, transactions uh, so every node receives the block uh, and the node uh, uh, that will receive the uh, block that node will send this block to the uh, two nodes uh, uh, two uh, peer nodes uh, so uh, that eventually uh, the block reaches uh, every node in the network and once the node receives the new block uh, that is proposed uh, after receiving the node uh, you try to understand this concept uh, what the node will do after receiving the uh, block so you can uh, you will uh, you try to read the last sentence of this uh, slide carefully uh, once the nodes uh, receive the block that is proposed uh, they not only verify the header and check the hash value 
इन एक्सेप्टेबल रेंज दो नोड विल चेक चेक आफ्टर रिसीविंग द ब्लॉक नोड विल वेरीफाई द हेडर नोड विल वेरीफाई द हैश वैल्यू इट विल चेक वेदर द हैश वैल्यू इज इन द एक्सेप्टेड एक्सेप्टेड एक्सेप्टेबल रेंज और नॉट एंड नोड विल वैलिडेट द ब्लॉक नोड हैज टू वैलिडेट द ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांजेक्शन नोड हैज टू वैलिडेट ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांजेक्शन दैट वॉज इंक्लूडेड इन द ब्लॉक वी नो दैट ब्लॉक कंटेन्स नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन एंड ईच ट्रांजेक्शन इज वेरीफाइड बाय द नोड and after verifying after validating the validating the uh, uh, each transaction and after verifying the header after very verifying the hash value uh, the node will send the block uh, to the two other nodes uh, in the networks and this process will continue uh, in iterations and after 12 to 15 iterations after 12 to 15 hops uh, the entire uh, a uh, blockchain will get flooded entire blockchain will blockchain will uh, entire all the nodes all the nodes in the blockchain will receive this new proposed block and every uh, node in the blockchain uh, will uh, verify and validate uh, transactions transactions included in the block each transaction is validated uh, the transactions that are included in the block and the nodes will uh, verify the header of the block nodes will uh, check the hash value uh, it will the nodes will check whether the hash value is in the acceptable range or not so in the bitcoin network validity validating a block uh, is a little a little more complex uh, compared with validating the uh, transactions so first uh, uh, students you try to understand uh, when the uh, node will pr uh, propose a block Uh, first what will be the first task uh, first task uh, when the node will uh, propose a block when the node will receive certain number of transactions and uh, after receiving each transaction that transactions are verified against certain rules we have studied the uh, 1617 rules and transaction is verified against this uh, rules there are uh, two types of uh, transactions standard transactions and non standard transactions so a node will verify the transaction and after verifying certain number of transactions uh, the node will uh, gather that transactions uh, node will gather the transaction and node will uh, put that transactions into a block uh, node will put the uh, transactions into a block and then after putting the uh, transactions into a block uh, the uh, the nodes will compete uh, the nodes will compete with each other uh, for proposing a a uh, block uh, so uh, node has to solve the mathematical uh, puzzle uh, so for, uh, for uh, proposing a uh, block the node has to solve this mathematical puzzle and if the node solves the mathematical puzzle when when the node solves the uh, proof of work uh, puzzle uh, then the node will propose a block and node will send the block to the uh, two other nodes and that uh, nodes will again validate or verify the block and they will further send this block to the uh, next uh, two uh, uh, nodes uh, so every node has to uh, validate and verify the uh, block and after validating the uh, blocks uh, so block validation is more complex as compared to the uh, transactions because uh, in blocks there are different uh, values like nonce uh, then block contains a hash of the previous link uh, block contains list of transactions Uh, inputs uh, and outputs uh, so uh, the node will verify the hash of the uh, uh, previous uh, block then node uh, node will verify the nonce value and uh, node has to verify the uh, every transaction uh, so validating a block is more complex as compared to the uh, validating the transaction so similar to the transaction there is a possibility that uh, two valid blocks are proposed at the same time uh, it may happen that the node will uh, receive the uh, uh, same blocks uh, same uh, uh, two valid blocks uh, at the same time uh, so in such a scenario uh, the node will keep uh, both the blocks node will keep both the blocks and start building on the one that comes from the longest uh, chain uh, the it will uh, try to validate the block that will come from the Uh, longest uh, chain so this is the rule uh, used for verifying the uh, block uh, 
uh, when uh, two valid blocks are proposed at the uh, same time. Uh, so uh, there are several issues with uh, block propagation. Uh, so uh, we know that when this block is uh, flooded, when the block is uh, propagated in the network, uh, so uh, to uh, uh, reach the block from one node to the another node, uh, how much time is required uh, to reach uh, the block from one node to the another node? Uh, that time is important in the blockchain uh, technology. So there are several uh, factors. Uh, so as the block size increases, the latency uh, increases. Uh, so there is always a latency involved for a block uh, to propagate through the entire network and reach uh, every uh, node. Uh, so uh, what is the relation between the uh, block size and latency? As uh, the size of the block will increase, uh, the time required time required uh, to reach the block to the next node, uh, that time will, uh, will be more. That is that means the latency will uh, increase. Uh, so uh, it is obvious that such network latency would impact the rate of the growth of the blockchain. As the number of nodes in the blockchain will increase, uh, so uh, this latency may increase and it may take, uh, take long time uh, to validate the block and to include the block in the uh, blockchain. So to include the block in the blockchain, every node has to validate the block. Uh, uh, so node, um, uh, the block must uh, reach to every node and every node has to validate the block and then that block is added in the uh, blockchain. If certain number of confirmation, if certain number of validations are required, uh, then that newly proposed block is added in the uh, blockchain. Uh, so there are different uh, issues, uh, throughput, uh, throughput uh, uh, latency, uh, there are several parameters and uh, there are several mechanisms, uh, several uh, 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 techniques are proposed uh, by the scientist uh, to reduce this uh, latency and to increase the uh, throughput of the uh, blockchain and network. So this is the topic of research. Uh, this uh, this uh, how to increase the uh, latency, uh, how the how to reduce the latency, uh, latency and how to, how to increase the uh, throughput uh, of this uh, block propagation. Uh, so this may become a topic of PhD. Uh, uh, so there are several. Uh, this may become a topic of uh, uh, dissertation. Uh, so. Uh, the interested student may get, go into the detail. Uh, what are the different mechanisms? Uh, and what are the different techniques uh, proposed by the different uh, scientists uh, to reduce the latency and to increase the uh, throughput? There are different uh, mechanisms. Uh, instead of verifying the entire block, uh, some uh, scientists said that uh, only verify the head, uh, header. Uh, first, only verify, verify the header. Uh, some scientists suggest that uh, keep the uh, size of the block small. So there are several uh, 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 techniques that are proposed. Uh, so this is beyond the scope of uh, our uh, syllabus, uh, but the interested students may go into the uh, details of this, uh, how we can uh, improve this uh, block propagation uh, mechanism. Uh, what are the methods? Uh, what are the techniques? Uh, to increase the to uh, decrease the uh, latency and to increase the uh, throughput. Uh, so uh, as uh, this is uh, this uh, session is for understanding the only uh, small uh, topic and that is block propagation. So uh, uh, in this we will try to. Uh, 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 try to revise uh, the things, how the uh, Bitcoin uh, network works and how the transactions and how the block is created. Uh, so this is the process and that is uh, that this process is outlined in this slide. Uh, so uh, whenever uh, the miners will uh, propose a new block, what, what the miners will do. So all new transactions, uh, all the new transactions are broadcasted to all nodes. So first you try to understand. First, the transactions are broadcasted to all nodes and all nodes will verify the transactions. Uh, after verification of transaction, then there is a next step. Uh, next step is to propose a block. 
so all new transactions are verified against certain rules and if the transactions satisfy certain rules uh, then uh, uh, the block is created uh, so uh, next step is all the all uh, new transactions are broadcasted to the all nodes all nodes will receive the uh, transactions nodes will uh, verify the transactions against the rules and each node uh, hears the new transaction each node will hear the new transaction and collects them into a block every node try, tries to uh, construct a block every node whatever the transactions are received uh, that uh, the node will try to put these transactions into a block because each node tries uh, to propose a block uh, why the each why each node will try to propose a block because uh, each node gets a reward it, uh, each node gets a incentive it, each node gets a, a fee uh, for uh, proposing a block uh, so each mining node uh, each mining node works on finding a, a difficult proof of work each mining uh, node uh, tries to solve the mathematical puzzle uh, for its block to be able to propose into the uh, bitcoin network and when a, go, a node gets lucky uh, when, a, uh, when a node is able to solve this mathematical uh, puzzle and finds a correct nonce value, value. So for uh, solving the mathematical uh, puzzle, we know that uh, the node has to change the uh, nonce value. It has to find the correct nonce value uh, to solve this proof of work puzzle. And then after solving this proof of uh, work puzzle, uh, it broadcasts the uh, block. Uh, the node will broadcast the uh, block to all the nodes by this uh, block propagation method. Uh, so we have studied uh, the block propagation method in this uh, uh, session. Uh, nodes accept the proposed and the rest of the nodes will accept the proposed block uh, they only if, uh, only if uh, the nonce and all the transactions in uh, the block are valid. Uh, so the remaining uh, uh, the remaining blocks in the blockchain uh, in the Bitcoin network will validate the block only if the nonce value is valid and if all the transactions in the block are valid and and not already spent. Uh, the output should not be uh, spent. So, uh, uh, so nodes uh, must uh, utilize the unspent outputs, uns unspent transaction outputs. This unspent transaction outputs will become the input for the uh, current transaction. So, uh, when such type, such type of valid block is received by the nodes, uh, these nodes will check the non transactions uh, and if the block is valid, uh, then Bitcoin uh, network uh, nodes express their acceptance. The Bitcoin nodes will accept this block uh, by working on the uh, uh, Bitcoin networks will accept this block and if certain number of acceptance, if certain number of confirmations, uh, validations are received, uh, then that block is added in the network and uh, what the nodes will do, uh, then nodes will uh, listen for uh, next transaction, uh, nodes will listen for next transaction, uh, they will uh, try to uh, create a block, uh, they will put the transactions into the block. So this is the uh, overall mechanism, how the Bitcoin network works or how uh, the blockchain uh, works. Uh, so this mining, mining is the core of this uh, blockchain. Mining is also called as consensus mechanism. In consensus mechanism, every node has to agree on the block. And if the every node will validate the block, uh, then that block is added in the uh, blockchain. So this is the core of all this blockchain technology. This is the main uh, concept of this uh, blockchain, uh, blockchain technology. This is a decentralized uh, network. Uh, this uh, uh, the nodes that will not trust each other or uh, such type of nodes uh, participate in the uh, blockchain. And uh, every node has to validate the block. If the every node is agree on the proposed block, then that block is added in the uh, blockchain networks. Uh, so students, uh, yeah, in this session, uh, we just have studied a very small topic that is block propagation uh, uh, in the Bitcoin network. Uh, so I have, uh, it was a uh, it was a matter of few minutes. Uh, in two to three minutes, uh, 
Now we can explain this topic, what how the blocks are propagated. Uh, it is just the concept of fork system call, what we are using the operating system or Unix operating system. Uh, so such type of concept is used for uh, block propagation and this block, block propagation time is very important. Uh, if the uh, 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 time uh, is, um, if uh, uh, time required for uh, propagating block is more, uh, then uh, for uh, violating the block, for proposing a block, uh, more time is required. So there are different techniques, there are different scientists. Uh, many people are working on this issue, how to reduce the uh, block uh, propagation uh, time, how to reduce the latency and how to increase the throughput because as the number of nodes will increase, uh, this uh, uh, matter uh, is very important for the uh, blockchain developers. Uh, so today we will stop here. Uh, this is about the today's uh, session. Thank you for watching this session.